okay so hello everyone in this tutorial we're going to learn how we can build a 4 into 3 RAM using decoder and or gates okay so we're basically learning how we can construct a RAM uh, with decoder and or gates and the RAM size would be 4 into 3 all right so let's begin so if this type of question is uh, given in your exam then at first you have to understand what 4 into 3 means so just like our previous tutorials uh, I've already mentioned that if you see something in the format as a into B then the left part is number of word and the right part is bit per word okay so 4 into 3 means uh, there are 4 words and 3 bit 3 bits per word okay so from this information over here so since there are four words I can find out the outputs of the decoder so the output of the decoder will be same as the number of word okay so here you can see that it is already written over here since the number of word is four that would be equivalent to the decoders output so that means the number of output for the decoder would be same as the number of word since the number of word is four then the decoder output should be four and we know that decoder follows the rule of n into 2 to the power n that means if there is 2 to the power n number of outputs then the input should be n okay so we have four outputs so the input would be 2 based upon this formula okay if we have four outputs in the decoder then inputs would be okay so this is given here address inputs only two inputs and four outputs so these four outputs can be uh, named as words all right so words words will be counted from zero okay so word zero word one word two and word three okay so these are the four words so we have completed this part over here now we have to think about the bit per word okay so since there are three bits per word so uh, to store one bit we should use one binary cell so this is something that I have explained in uh, one of my previous tutorial the very first tutorial uh, in case of memory unit alright so in case of memory unit the binary cell is the most elementary unit and one binary cell is used to store one bit of information so to store three bits we have to use three binary cells okay so there that would be three binary cells per word so as you can see we are using here three binary cells okay one two and three all right so for the second word we are again using three binary cells one two and three for the third one we are again using three binary cells for the fourth one we are again using three binary cells alright so since uh, we are using three bits per word so for every bit we are using one binary cell so that would be three binary cells per word now these binary cells would be connected to some other components in all of those sides so this is basically a rectangular diagram and we can see that it is connected to other components in all of its sides okay so now let's talk about that so we have to find out some inputs and outputs too we have to find out some uh, inputs and outputs too so the number of data input would be same as the bit per word and number of data output again would be same as the bit per word so just from this one value we can actually get multiple types of information so you already know that that uh, we'll need uh, three binary cells per word okay and now we know that 3 bit per word means we'll have 3 data inputs and 3 data outputs eventually okay so these binary cells are connected with different components on all sides so let's take a look at that so you can see that the binary cells are connected to the words that I have already explained right so 3 binary cells per words okay so these binary cells are already connected with words secondly the binary cells are actually connected with data inputs so you can see so consider this as your first column alright so consider this as your first column and all the binary cells in your 
uh, in your first column are connected with the first data inputs over here right so just take a look at that so all the binary cells are connected with the first data input okay furthermore you can see that here from the right side the outputs are connected okay so the outputs are accumulated and they are joined into an OR gate and finally from that OR gate we get a final output okay so this output comes from all these binary cells of the first column then for the second column we are following the same procedure and we're getting another output and for the third one we're getting another output so uh, these three are the final outputs all right and the other connection comes from downwards as you can see so this connection over here actually comes from the read write signal remember when we uh, learned the sample block diagram for memory unit so there was something called read and write signal all right so this is the read and write signal so this signal should be connected to all the binary cells in all levels okay so just like sh it, it is shown here that this read write signal is connected to all the binary cells for word 0 and secondly for all the binary cells of word 1 and for all the binary cells for war of war 2 and eventually for all the binary cells of war 3 okay so what we learned here is that that the binary cells would be connected with other components in all sides so the binary cells would be connected to words on one side the binary cells would be connected to read and write signal on one side the binary cells would be connected with data inputs on one side and the binary cells would be connected with data outputs okay so just to recap so whenever we get this type of uh, construction we have to understand that the left part of this multiplication sign is number of word and the right part is bit per word and the l number of word would be equivalent to the decoder output that means the number of output in the decoder would be same as the number of word and since the output number is 4 so input would be 2 alright so there are two inputs and once we're done with this part then we'll move into the bit per word part and since there are three bits per word so to store every bit we would need one binary cell so for three bits we'll need three binary cells per word so here as you can see three binary cells per word and all of these binary cells are connected with uh, other components on all sides just like i have explained a few moments ago and furthermore since we are using three bits per word so data input would be three and data output would be three so that means data inputs and data outputs the number of data inputs and the number of data outputs are also same as the bit per word information okay so this is how uh, you can draw a simple uh, RAM okay assume uh, you can design the simple construction for a RAM okay so the numbers could be different uh, instead of 4 into 3 uh, it could ask you 8 into 3 or maybe 8 into 4 something like that so whatever is given here you should follow the same rule so maybe your output should be different maybe your input should be different maybe your uh, maybe the number of binary cells or data inputs or outputs would differ all right but basically the whole uh, diagram will follow the same rules and regulations just uh, like what we did uh, for this problem okay so hope you understood uh, so thank you very much